already set up. Right click on the particle geometry, Cinema 4D Tags, Expresso, and you're going to get a little menu like this. All right. um, this menu, I'm going to go ahead and <clears throat> make it a little bit smaller so I can see what's going on here. There we go. Don't need a lot of room with this one because we're only adding one Expresso node. Uh, in this box here, I'm going to right click, New Node, Thinking Particles, TP Generator, and P Blurp and add that in there. You're going to get this thing called a node. And this is kind of, uh, the Espresso Editor here, you can do a ton of different things with this. And, I mean, it gets really in-depth, and it's, it's way beyond my scope uh, in a lot of ways also uh, in terms of the math functions and stuff. But uh, once you start learning it and get an idea of how it works, um, it's very powerful. And it can do a lot of things very quickly that would take a lot of time to do by hand, uh, or at least keyframing by hand. Okay, so in this case, <clears throat> we're going to use the P blurb here, and if you click on that in the Expresso, you'll notice you get a thing that says Objects here. Well, we're going to drop our Ludus and our P blurb object here. I'm not sure why they got a one in front of them. I'm going to delete that. There we go. And we're going to drop both of those into that P blurb. Again, if you don't see it in the Attributes Manager, you need to select it first. Okay, I'm going to dig my P blurb here. Um, I'm going to select both my objects, select P blurb, come down and drag it and drop it in there. And so now you'll see that you have your objects, your P blurb in there. All right. um, I believe that's all I need for right now with this. I can come back and get the Expresso Editor anytime by double clicking its tag up here. So I'm going to go ahead and click that down. Um, first thing I'm going to do before I do anything else is just set up a real quick animation phase, and it's going to go from 0 to 90, and it's going to tween in between those. So at frame 0, I'm going to leave it at 0%. I'm going to control, click, and leave it at 0. All right, you can already see some particles kind of thrown up here real quickly. I'm <clears throat> going to drag this to frame 90. Type in here 100%. And this will be a little bit taxing on the computer, on the graphics card and stuff. And I'm going to go ahead and click a thing for that right there. All right. So you can see how it's kind of already showing particles in both systems. And again, it's real slow to try to scrub if you're doing that, as you can see mine. Sometimes you get the little spinning beach ball. The next thing that I'm going to do here is um, I'm going to go ahead and shut off in the editor and in the... Um, renderer here these two particles because the particle geometry has already defined these it's just using these as a resource it doesn't really need them anymore uh, and you'll see that here in just a minute I'm going to back out just a little bit here all right so okay um, so what we need to do is select uh, our P blurb node from the X group and then in the objects in the uh, attributes manager of that P blurb uh, we need to select both the Ludus and the P blurb objects, and we're going to change the uh, from uh, Z plus Z minus to um, X plus X minus. And what that'll do is it'll allow that P blurb to run a little bit more efficiently. Leave that account. I want to jump my count up to 400. You can change that around basically how many the particle count that's going to be flying through there. I like to get us a little bit of thickness, so I'm going to go 4% with my particles. I leave the other stuff at default. Um, don't mess too much with any of this other stuff, and just kind of leave it how it is. All right. Uh, that said, everything should be set up, and you should have a very simple P blurb transition here. And so you can watch in all four of these views what happens when I press play. It might be a little slow here. Okay, so you can see how those particles transition back into P blurb. Real quick and simple. Not much to it. It's basically taking one text and transitioning it into the other. All right. So not super exciting quite yet, um, but we're going to give it a little bit more uh, phase here to uh, actually tween upon. So it's going to kind of be jumping around here in just a minute. So next thing we're going to do here is we're going to go up to objects, null object, and I'm going to create a couple of those. You can label them um, one and two if you want, or however you want to label them. There's just going to be transitions in between this. I'm going to jump up my espresso again, P blurb, 
and in between where we drop those last two objects, okay, I'm going to drop these null objects because we're going to actually use those to tween or to change that position in between. So here what we're going to do is we're going to take the null one, okay, and a null object is, again, it's a non-object, it's just a pointer. I'm going to drag it over here. You can already see that in my top menu how it's actually starting to move that animation of that Peebler budget. And I'm going to drag it up a little bit here. Select that. Select my other one. And bring it. It should be two. I'm going to drag it back a little bit and over. And I could leave it down or up. I'm going to go ahead and bring it up a little bit. All right. And so we should have this animation cycle of these particles kind of jumping around here. Just like that. Now if I hit the play button again, start over, hit play, you can see I'm running in this section here, pretty sweet. So let's go check it out here. So it's taking my text, it's running it around through the particles and bringing it back down into Peebler. Okay. And if we stop this now and render it, you can kind of see how it's breaking up that ludist um, text there. And you can see again the thickness of those particles as they're moving back towards the front. Okay. We've got one little problem here, and you notice the Ludus is still kind of showing up here as we're animating this, and it's not disappearing yet. Um, the problem, let's take a look at our P blurb here. Thickness, hollow, fragments. Let's see if I start this over now. 